Good morning, it is bull sales weekend. Just had another Angus calf there. Looks a nice wee calf. Yes, bull sales. Sunday today, there is the show of the Simmentals and the Sailors and the Charlies. They'll get showed, judged. And then tomorrow they're sold. Fire down today, have a look around them all, get a bit of an eye for what I'm after. And then tomorrow, fingers crossed, we'll get hands on one. Feed this calf, five minutes in the fort left. And then we're off to Stirling. There she goes. <sighs> bit of a pain, this calf. Mm. Let's go. So it was busy on sale day. Okay, the Simmentals today are split into 13 classes. They're based on age. The oldest bulls are out first. Each class is paraded around the ring for the buyers to have a good look at. Also, the judge pulls the best five or so bulls from the group and then judges them from first to fifth based on what he deems to be the best bull in that class. First in class then goes forward into an intermediate show. These bulls are judged against each other to produce three intermediate champions. Those three bulls are then put forward and judged against each other to win bull of the show. Just had a phone call. There's been a power cut at one of the hen sheds and it's, it keeps tripping, so I need to head back and sort that. Just seen all the simmentals being shown. The sailors in between, not interested in a sailor bull, so hopefully I'll get back down by the time the Charlies are getting sold. I think I'm more keen on getting a simmental, but if I don't get a simmental, I'll happily get a Charlie, so that's where we're at. I missed the start of the sale, so I probably saw from, I probably saw half the bulls in the ring. Clearly, nothing tripped at the moment. Let's see if this belt's gonna trip it. No. Hmm. Here comes the eggs. Um, both sheds seem okay. Um, I have to go and speak to the egg man, Colin, who's doing the eggs today. What's the issue? That shed seems fine, that shed seems fine. He did say it wasn't tripping immediately, so I just need to ask him what. What, what was he doing when it was tripping? And which shed it is, because I don't know which shed it is yet. I've spoken to Colin, who lifts the eggs on the weekends. It's not when he turns something on, or there's an added load to the system. It's just very random, sporadic, so it must, must be a short of some sort wire that's been chewed through by mice, or that's my current explanation, or current theory. It's currently on, it's been on for a wee while. Colin's gonna be here till six o'clock, it's about half one at the moment, so. He's gonna keep an eye on it, see if it trips again. There's nothing obvious. The good thing is it's still working. Feed tracks are working, egg belts are working. Everything's working, it just randomly, sporadically trips. It's nothing to do with load. Temperamental issues are the worst type of issues. I'd rather it was just off and did not come back on again, rather than, it's kind of working. Ah, flipping hen sheds. Good bite to eat at Glugburn Farm Shop, you should try it. Oh, a sausage roll, I think. For a pulled pork pasty. Mm, beauty. Take the cows. Back to Sterling. Cows are doing grand. That's the cow that calved. Huge bag of milk. Nice bull calf. Belter of a wee thing. Lovely calf. Otherwise, nothing else in this pen looking like it. There's one cow next door that will maybe calf today. Yeah, I think we're all good here. Right, Sterling bound. Let's go. Back again, round two. Charlie's.
Job done. Right, boom. A few jobs to get done in here so that I've not got much to do tomorrow morning before I go down to the sale. Don't want to be late for that. I need to wash the livestock trailer as well tomorrow morning, so. Have this lot fed. I've given them plenty, so it should do tomorrow. And then I'm just going to bed them as well. Yeah, needing bedded. That was a task. You wee bandits, a lot of you. Sale day tomorrow, see how we get on. The old man is currently not in the country, so I've nabbed this jet book. We'll be buying the champion. The last couple of bulls I've bought have been, I think one was for, have we gone as high as into the 6,000s? I don't think so. I think they've been about somewhere between 4,000 and 6,000 in that range, the last two. So I imagine there'll be a, a, a bit of a step up prices tomorrow based on where the beef price is right now. So we'll stick a budget of six, plenty. See how we go anyway. They're not daft, these calves, are they? Or the cows, I guess. Don't you dare. No. Do what your pals are doing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Last one. This pen wasn't really needing done, but I came through here to get to that pen, so I was well chucking a bale down the front where it's the dirtiest. Get another day out of the pen. Let's give him a push down there and then we can feed him down there. You need to guide his head, guide his head the right way. You guide his head and I'll push. So you just face him where you want him to go. So we'll take him down to the milk bottle. Yeah. Is he sniffing the milk? Hopefully, hopefully. Right, that'll do. You go and get the milk bottle. Right, so he's not quite fully onto it yet. He doesn't quite do it all himself, but if you push it, push that in there, push it into his mouth. Push it. Not in his nostrils. You don't want milk in his nostrils, do you? Push it in, that's it. Keep pushing. Right, you ready? Right, there you go, in you go, put it in. And hold it up, hold it up higher. That's it, hold it there. That's him drinking, you hear him? So we need to, you need to, when he starts drinking, you open this lever a wee bit. Yeah, that's it. Just it lets some air in. This is a heifer, Call, a girl's called a heifer. Yeah? And the boy's called a bull. A bull, once he loses his knackers, he's called a bullock. Or a steer. And then he gets big, he He's called a bull. If if he's still got his knackers, but if knack, if his knackers go, then he's called a bullock, not a bull. A bullock or a steer. So Euro and Mike are both bulls because they've still got their knackers. But remember the band we put on the calves? Yeah. That that gets rid of their knackers and that makes them bullocks. So they go from being bulls to bullocks. Give it another few feeds and it'll come over to you and drink out the bottle. And I won't need to stand here and you can do it all yourself. But when I'm older... Why not now? You can do it now. You don't need to be older. You need to be older to help with the cows and the big cattle. But the calves you can help with, because yeah. they're smaller. And they're not as dangerous. And they're not as rough. They're not as rough, correct. No, but you could feed the calf before you go to the nursery. Well, I need to ask Daddy. Hey, right, ready to watch? There it goes. I just need to tip it up now. Back in day, if you've not already, please click like on the video and we'll see how we get on tomorrow at the bull sales. Think we'll get a bull? What color? Brown or white? Put it down below, what do you think we'll end up with? See you tomorrow, I need to feed that calf actually. He's gonna make a bottle of milk, but 
That's enough for this video.